Good evening. I wanted to share with you something I learned recently about Emacs and configuration of the modifier keys. What was going on was that for the longest time I had my OS 10 keyboard configured so that the caps lock key and the return key when held acted as the option key. And then I configured Emacs to use it as the super key. For my Emacs, I had control, meta, super, and, and that was pretty great. What changed is I started to play around with Dialog EPL. So I have it open on, on, this, on this monitor here. And APL, if you haven't heard really great things about it already, um, among other things, it uses special characters. For example, if you wanted a list from 1 to 10, you'd go over into to APL and you'd hold the Option key and push I and then push 10. And you can see there then you get a list of 1 to 10. Well, the cool thing is that I'm look I'm I'm taking notes about dialog APL in org mode, and I'm wanting to to input those those characters uh, inside org mode while I take notes, and I can't do it because I've already configured Emacs so that when it sees the option key, that it uses it as super. So if I if I come in over to Emacs, and if I look at the key binding for super i for iota you can see here what does it do org babel execute source block which is great i've used that a year or two i don't really want to change that but i want to be able to enter characters using the option key and probably i'm not the first one even if you're not learning dialog apl you might just want to input unicode characters over our over here on the screen again if i wanted to input a Unicode smiley face. I don't think there's an APL symbol for that, but you could probably define one. What I would do over here is, and I've got, got it configured with option, option spacebar, switch to the Unicode hex input, find the Unicode character we want to enter. So in this case, the smiley face is 263A. So I'd hold, hold option and hit 263A. And you can see a smiley face is input, and it's nice. Once you, once you fall in love with the Unicode character set, you see there's a lot of very expressive symbols that can communicate a lot more intent in written communication. It's very nice to have. Wanting to, to easily uh, utilize both of these things while still retaining super, having option as super, I started to look for a solution. and. What I, what I came up with was what always happens when you work with Emacs. First you figure out what you want to do, then you read the documentation and find it's already there for you. It's really great. What I ended up doing here is, is finding that Emacs allows you to configure your physical keys to do different things. And here's what I mean by that. The USB human interface device spec allows for four modifiers that shift control alt and GUI that's four keys fine but the great thing about it is it differentiates between left and right now if you're already fabricating a custom keyboard for Emacs you might care about that to try to have a single keyboard with all four modifiers for Emacs and then the two modifiers for your OS and, and that's that's fun to look at but the other thing I guess the other place that this applies is if you have a normal keyboard. So let me show you the keyboard I'm working with, typical Mac keyboard, and you can see here, can't have balanced uh, modifiers for Emacs and use those modifiers for, for OS X. What you find though when you, you start digging into the, the Emacs literature though is that it allows you to configure what you want to do with those modifier keys. So in particular, the left modifier keys, you can define what you want them to be, which is great to know. But the right modifier keys, you can configure them however you want, but you can also 
tell Emacs not to do anything with them. Just pass them through to the operating system. And that's what I worked on. It's the, that's the configuration change I made. The hardest part was learning about the human interface device spec for modifier keys and then finding the web page where Emacs explains what to do with them. I want to show you in Emacs how, how that's configured. Here's the configuration. I know you can read it faster than I can read it and share it with you and talk about it, but I can share with you the intent. What I wanted to have happen is that I wanted to very easily do two things. The first thing was I want my right option key sometimes to be interpreted as super by Emacs, but other times I want Emacs to ignore it so I have direct access to the alternate input method, primarily for taking notes in org mode or, or working on anything in org mode. The other thing I wanted then is my keyboard is configured so that the F keys act as function keys. And if I want to make changes to the configuration of the device, like the screen brightness, I need to hold function and then hit the F keys. So sometimes I need to do that, but the rest of the time, I just want function to act as hyper because that's, that's nice to have another key space. To make those changes, I just, added a configuration to do that and when you review it and, and when you stare at it the the helpful thing to see was that most of the time the right modifiers are going to act or be configured the same as the left modifiers but once in a while i, I want to pass them through and so there's a function there to, to pass them through and the nifty thing then is i have a hydra set up for that when i want to when I want to make a change, for example, if I want to enter alpha or omega, I just check and make sure the input method is what I want here. And you can see it's the dialog input method. And then I tell Emacs via Hydra that I want to toggle the Mac right option modifier. So I'll get a little message indicator seeing that it's passing it through. And then when I use that, you know, I can do, you know, from, can do alpha and omega, which are the, the left and right arguments. I can do iota. Um, and I can also do the, the smiley face directly with the Unicode input. And again, I have that, that Unicode code is 263A. So there's the smiley face. Now, in Emacs, it's already very easy to input Unicode symbols. I'm going to change, I'm going to reconfigure Emacs so that it gives me super back. And there's a function there, UCS insert. And that's really nice because you get code completion on all those Unicode names, if you don't remember the Unicode name like I didn't. And you can then insert it just as you would expect. The configuration I have in place, it works the same for the function key. I don't change the, the, the hardware configuration much, um, but that's configured with the Hydra. In this case down here, it's Shift S. So it's just, you know, just like uh, swapping the right option modifier. So this is the configuration change that, that I made today. and. I hope in particular for my, my friends, whoever they may be, um, if they're relatively new to OS X like me and, and still relatively new to Emacs, this configuration makes it very easy to continue to get the best out of Emacs and the best out of OS X without having to lug around an additional keyboard to, to easily input um, pretty much any symbol you'd like, any way you'd like. Thanks so much for your time, and again, uh, I hope you I hope you take advantage of the the availability of the the FSF cups. Um, again, they're a great promotion. They're a great way to support the FSF, and they're also very fun. Thanks so much for your time. Good night.